those are very high words to use. I, I should clarify that I took Sindopa one uh, tablet th today. Today. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I, I was officially diagnosed in 2018 February uh, by Dr. Natarajan, uh, uh, neuro, neuro, neuro physician. Uh, but as everybody knows, you, before you're diagnosed, I mean, you've had the disease for at least four or five years. So I think it goes back about eight, nine years. Uh, the thing about exercising is, is a little incidental because early uh, 40s, 41, 42, I had uh, high cholesterol and the doctor said, look, you have to exercise at least five days a week, if not all days a week. So at that time, I told myself, look, at least for, for myself, if not for myself, for the sake of my family, I should make uh, exercise a lifestyle change uh, from my perspective. So both exercise and diet had changed back then. Uh, and uh, so at 51, 52, I probably got, uh, so I used to run uh, 20K or so a week. And the first symptom that I noticed was a foot drop syndrome. I mean, my case is a little unusual because it didn't stop, it didn't start with tremors in my upper limbs, but from my leg, left leg. So I used to have this foot drop as I was running and then I had to sort of break, walk a little bit and then be able to run again. But this continued, so uh, when the official diagnosis came in 2018 February, uh, the doctor said, look, uh, it, it's, it's what it is. So you have to please make sure that you keep to your marathon running and all. So since then I've been running 10K, I ran 10K in uh, March this year in the Chennai Marathon at 72 minutes. So, uh, so I think... <laughs> So I think my, uh, my advice would be to start exercise early, to be very persistent and consistent with exercise. I do running, I do uh, yoga nidra. In yoga nidra, they say that you, know, you take a sankalp. So for me, it's about uh, I'm healthy, I'm happy and optimistic, right? So those three mantras sort of help me. Yoga nidra is one particular yoga that, uh, asana that helps me in reducing my tremors. Uh, and then the other couple of things that I do uh, find that are helpful is cycling and uh, a high, um, a high intensity aerobic exercises. Both of these are NIH funded, US National Institute of Health funded uh, programs, clinical trials that are running that are established that uh, high intensity exercise uh, at least uh, mitigates the progression, the speed of progression of the disease uh, if, if it doesn't stop. So, I mean. So that's the takeaway. Start early, be very, very consistent, change your lifestyle, make it into a lifestyle uh, sort of uh, thing to have exercises and uh, meditation. Uh, so that's, that, that's what I would uh, sort of have you take away from my experience. Yeah, it's funded, NIH funded $3 million project. Uh, Professor Jay Alberts, I think for, uh, from the Cleveland Clinic, He's running that. And he found that, in fact, for example, cycling is a very helpful thing for tremors especially. So, but this is a program to find out if high intensity exercise mitigates or, you know, stops progression of the disease.